Herd immunity, we've talked a lot about it over the past 18 months or so. And when it comes to Maine, just how close are we? Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Amanda Hill in for Cindy Williams. Right now, more than 65% of our entire state is vaccinated against COVID-19. In some age groups, like those in their 70s, nearly 96% have received a final dose. But is that enough? New Center Maine's Chris Costa joins us now. And Chris, I'm guessing the recent surge in cases would indicate we are not there yet. That's exactly right, Pat. The Delta variant is messing with doctors' initial projections of what percentage of people vaccinated we would have to have to achieve herd immunity. Before Delta, doctors were estimating that 75 to 85 percent of people would have to get the shot. But because of how contagious this strain of the virus is, those numbers are now much higher. I got this question from Jacob on Twitter, asking if Maine has reached herd immunity since more than 70 percent of those 12 and older have a final dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. The answer is no. Maine CDC Director Dr. Nirav Shah chimed in, saying the threshold for herd immunity is well over 70 percent because the Delta variant is more contagious than the original version of COVID-19. Because of the greater infectiousness of the Delta variant, much greater infectiousness, the percentage of folks that you need to be vaccinated in any population to prevent an outbreak or exponential growth has gone from 70 percent for the pre-Delta now to over 90% or around 90%. Right now, 74% of those 12 and older have a final dose, but that does not account for the more than 160,000 kids under age 12 who cannot get the shot yet. When we include those kids, the vaccination rate dips to 65% of our entire population. The closer we can get that number to, the less room the virus has to run. One problem. Dr. Shah says herd immunity assumes there's an equal percentage of vaccinated people spread across the state. That's not the case in Maine. Coastal counties have more than 70% of residents vaccinated. Rural counties, especially in western Maine, are under 60%. The most disease we have right now in Maine is coming from rural Maine, and that's because we have the lowest vaccination rates there. But those are people who didn't get the first shot to begin with, so we hope that they'll go get the first shot. If folks don't go out and get vaccinated, particularly in the near term, we're going to continue to see pockets, regions of the state, with really high transmission levels. Hey, you guys need a hand? Dr. Shah says even if you don't live in one of those areas, someone who gets very sick with COVID could end up taking an ICU bed from someone who gets in a car crash or has a heart attack in Maine's already stretched hospital network. The, the impact of not getting vaccinated reverberates well beyond your own community. Some of those people live, some of them don't. So, Pat and Amanda, there are two more important points to cover. One, we talked about that number at the top of the show, 96% of people aged 70 to 79 that have gotten vaccinated. Some people might think, well, they have herd immunity. Not exactly. Those people don't interact in a silo. They interact with other people of all ages. So that number doesn't really apply. The other important thing to talk about is natural immunity. People who have gotten COVID-19 and recovered, they do have an immune response. But Dr. Shah has said that the immune response from getting the vaccine is much stronger than natural immunity. Chris Costa, thank you.